Hi guys and welcome back to episode 16 of the rebuild. I haven't played any games since you were last with us against a good 4-2 win against Morris Ends, if that's how you pronounce them. But I thought we'd play the first few games and sort of we can see together how where we start off the season, which as you can see, apart from the Super Tassia, we have done really well. But it's, it's only one league game, so. But yeah, today we're going to play Des Chavez. Uh, all's looking well at the moment. So we can kick straight into it. And hopefully we can uh, keep a very good uh, start to the season. So yeah, we're just telling we want them to kick off where they last left off. And see what we can do. Apologies about the late video last night. Normally I do it for 7pm. But I think it come out about quarter past nine, half nine. Uh, yeah, that's a problem working full time. You don't always get time to do the videos when you want to. This is my second video on the on the chart, as you can tell, same clothes. <laughs> but it needs to be done. Not a kick off highlight, surely. So it's a tough one this season because we haven't massively improved. Most of the transfers done were pre-done due to real life transfers. So I'd say we're probably due to finish about third again, maybe second if we can improve a few performances. Great goal there. He might have been offside though. No? Oh no. He's going to see VAR. We just had a few more offers for uh, Bruno Fernandes as well. Arsenal and Inter Milan, 31 million again. But we're in no need to sell him. He's happy. So, unless they offer us 90 million, it's going nowhere. <coughs> I think it stood that goal. But yeah, apologies if there's a bit of a lag. I am currently uploading yesterday's video. So, that might be why. Go on. Oh, lovely little cheeky goal. Great start. Nine minutes in. And we're two up. I think it was thanks to their defender, chests it, yeah, and basically sets Wendell up for the goal. That's what we like to see, top of the league, just above my head. Not much going on now, not many shots either, they're actually battering us possession. It's weird with possession, we'll either comfortably win it, or get battered. Never an even amount, even when we batter a game, like we're 2-0 up and only had... Although we're starting to get more possession now, but yeah, we had 39% for a while. Fantastic first half. He doesn't want us to say anything, thinks it complicates things, but I'm more than happy to say well done. And obviously the players agree with me. Lovely ball there from kickoff. Vargas nearly goes in and he scores. Kickoff. 17 seconds into kickoff. Jesus. Amazing bit of play there. Surely not another goal. Shivan. Oh, gonna get us on the break. Not a good enough ball, I'm afraid. But that is a cracker, and what a great run by Vargas. Chips it in. Doss, top left corner. Lovely, lovely header. And that puts us 4-0, two goals in just under two minutes. It's incredible. <clears throat> so scoring's definitely not a problem. Could even get another one a couple of minutes later. Palacios, back out to Rostovsky. I think he went down a bit easy. I feel if they decide it's a penalty, because they've got to decide if it's a penalty or a free kick, I'd... I do think it would be a harsh or a penalty though. Although I won't complain, you know, as many goals as we can get the better. What's he decided? Free kick. That's fair enough. Not like we need a goal anyway at the moment. So we're playing out from defence. Well, 
when Dawn to Vargas. Lovely little pass and play there. Lovely ball to Borgia. Keeps it in as well. Great cross. Just no one's there to get it. See more up for it. Run into the balls quicker than the defenders. Go and let off again. That's it. Great play and a good first time shot by Vargas. His third goal of the season now as well. Only two league games in. 5 0. We've still got half an hour to play. Right. Fitness isn't too bad anywhere at the moment, but I will take off the lowest one being Borgia. He's always so tired, he is. Pretty sure his fit, like natural fitness is pretty good. Oh no, it's pretty bad. To be fair, that explains a lot. Might have to invest in a better left back than one that can actually play a whole game. Don't think he'll be able to improve his stats enough in his career. Apart from that, though, all round he's a pretty good um fullback. Lovely play there. Whoa, barely saw what happened there. Great reactions by Vargas. Is that his hat trick? Not sure, but we're 6 0 up. Hitting the target quite a bit as well. We don't often hit the target this much in a game. Right, who else can we take off? Who else probably needs it? So, fitness again isn't bad. In these situations, I'll tend to take the goalkeeper off, which I will because it's Pedro Silva to give him a chance. Because we might have to bleed him into the team as well. It's good to have more than one option. And I want to bring Procanza on, give him a chance as well. I'll take off Palacios, being the non Portuguese player. And we'll give some other players, some youngsters, a 20 minute run around. So scored 10 goals in two league games. That's pretty incredible. Could improve. Domingos is always there. He's always there. The last one runs with a Carragher back in the day. Chavan's going to do one of his runs. Whips it in. To be fair, what a great ball. Can he finish it? He cannot. Great start for Silva. Good save. Surely that's got the end of the highlight. That says more. It's alright, mate. You're losing 6 0. What's the point in time wasting? Oh, uh, yes, yeah, another good game. Good start. What well, a great start to the episode as well. Very happy with that. Morale is through the roof at the moment. So, what I do is I come back for the Rio Ave game. See you in a sec. Just a quick one before we get into the next game. I just want to show you a transfer we have made. Uh, is it shown here? No, because it's a done deal. Let's have a look. Yeah, that youngster, Agostino Amaro, 150,000, so a little more we wanted to pay. I know his potential may not look that good now, but, and I know he doesn't play the position we want, but, 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 I think he's six foot four, so he's an absolute beast. And you've got, like, looking at his physicals, they can improve. Bear in mind, he's only, he was 15 not long ago, he's only just turned 16. But I think he's got some good, like, good stats. He's not bad, you know, kick, kick takers. Great at tackling. Great at positioning. Great decision maker. His composure needs improvement. But, you know, his aggressive anticipation. He's a pretty, pretty good player. His work rate is very, very good. Um, we could probably train him as a midfielder as well. Probably wouldn't be ideal as a box-to-box. -box. Some good stats, but also some bad ones. Deep line player. Yeah, I'd probably retrain him as a centre-back. But, I mean, he may not make it, but 150 grand, it's not going to be a big problem. So, yeah, that's, it's not that bad. We have, <coughs> excuse me, we have um, <coughs> gained an injury. Where is he? 
Jonathan Silva, so he's on the bench. Potentially to be... I probably should play him rather than Borgia because his natural fitness is far better. But he's just gained a... I think a two-month injury. Five to seven weeks, pretty much. Yeah, so he will have to come off the bench. But I think in future we may have to play him over Borgia. So we'll play Borgia for now. But I will bring on Jonathan Silva instead. Put Jabal on the bench for now. Defender for a defender. Albeit one's a centre-back and one's a full-back. Today we're playing Rio Arf. Should be a fairly comfortable game. We'll take the manager's advice. As you can see, more people are starting to get on his side. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's see if we can keep this great times rolling like we started last season very well. See if we can do well in the Allianz Cup. Although it doesn't matter because the board doesn't care about that cup. But it'd be good if we can win it. Rio Av, trying to play out their own defence, I think. Great tackle. It's gone nowhere ultimately, though. Although we're in possession at the moment. I'd pass out wide. No? Okay. He's open, though. He's still open out wide. Now do it. No, <laughs> they really don't want to pass play it out wide, do they? He's not really open that much anymore, but it's still a good opportunity for a run. See, that didn't end too well. Well, it has, actually. Oh, we're going to get anything. I stand corrected. Dost with another lovely header. Really? I'm assuming for offside. They love VAR, don't they? There's every decision. Like, do you have to go to VAR? I think it stood, though. You're a ref, though. Like, surely you should just take the decision yourself sometimes. You can't just rely... On VAR all the time. Otherwise, it not only does it waste time, stops the rhythm of the game. You're not needed. You may as well just use VAR every time. Well done, Domino Goss. I don't know if it's Domingos, I think it is. He's proven to be a very good player. He's quite fast. His reactions are very good. I'm still shocked as to how we've managed to keep such big players and they're like quite happy to stay with us considering we're not made the Champions League. Wow, great ball. Awful shot though. Just lace it, mate. From that close to that angle, just lace it. I suppose you got a corner out of it though. Oh, cheeky. Smash it. Smash it. Good save. Oh, just noticed I've got something that went my green screen just popping up there. It should be okay now. Vargas with it now. Nice little run. Unlucky. Again, apologies if the lag is really bad, worse than usual. It's because my video for tonight, well, yesterday, is probably processing now on onto YouTube. So, but it's getting quite late at the moment. So, ooh, so I need to be recording this one now. So I have a video for well, today to you guys, but for me now, recording it be tomorrow. For anyone that watches the, um, like if anyone here watches the Saturday scares as well, they're probably temporarily going to be stopped for the moment. It's just because where I do work full time, it is really hard to make sure I've got content out for a every single day so at the moment it's probably just going to be monday to friday for the football manager ones but then if you're here for football manager you might not be there for the saturday scares anyway because we're meant to be doing silly sunday as well playing funny silly games and i've only done one episode since recording i've been doing this for about two months now but i just can't find the time at the moment oh i thought he was going to get that then it's a lot of highlights this game, but a whole lot of nothing going on. Just a lot of lag. Although, I'm not getting the lag on my game. That's the annoying thing. So, we've got one screen is my game playing, and then obviously you've got 
recording software on the uh, the other screen, but yeah, I'm guessing because of the uh, uploading, it's struggling. Which it shouldn't do because my like my specs are really good. Nice try. See, Bruno Fernandes is a weird one because of how good he is. He's like a, almost a world class player. Like his stats on here. I'm kind of. Um, hmm, that wasn't a great one. I'm kind of like in two minds. Like, I'd like to keep him homegrown, Portuguese, all that sort of thing. But at the same time, if we could hit his release clause at 90 million. We could have a lot of money. We could suddenly have like 40, 50 mil to spend. At the moment, I think I've just persuaded our owners to give us... Great goal. Give us um 63% of sales. So we wouldn't even get all of it. And that's with 19 million in the bank. But um yeah, so if we can get 90... That's weird. I'd be happy to sell if we got 19 mil. Because then we could think of a little club like us. Like, in the grand scheme of things... You, Sporting Club de Portugal are a small-ish club now in regards of the league we're in and the finances we'd have to spend. We wouldn't have to be like English teams or, you know, like the big Italians or Spanish teams spending like 80 million for a basic player. We could spend like 2 to 5 million for a half-decent player, get them really good, sell them for 40, 50 mil abroad. And with all of that, we could, you know, we could keep doing that and end up making a lot of money, but we need the money in the first place to be able to buy those players. Oh, Jesus, that was a good turning shot there. It's weird because we're winning 2 nil quite comfortably, but it's quite a boring game. Or is it just me? I mean, I'm waffling on loads as well. So just take your time, lads. We're comfortably winning. Go on, Rafinha, cut in, shoot! Oh, unlucky son. Highlight after highlight, but nothing's going on. Just the odd shot wide. Awful touch there. Could be punished for it. Nope, done enough just for now. They come at us again, though. Leandrino, Nicola Jambor, I think it is. Used to play for Lockerin or Lokerin, I think it is. If that is who I think it is. If it is, that means I've played too much football manager over my time. He's on the ball now anyway. Ooh, awful pass. Fernandez manages to cut in. Rafinha. He's gone through and tapped it in. First goal of the season. Great counter-attack. This is why we play this formation and this tactic. And quite successful as well. A couple of people have asked for it as well. I'm getting quite a few downloads on it. It's quite nice. Considering I'm not... like I would like to say I'm tactically minded. Like I have good ideas in theory. But getting them to like, pull them off in this game is not always successful. But this is my first homemade tactic. That's been quite you know relatively success successful. We've won a cup. Semi-final Europa League. I'm finished third. Not bad. <clears throat> Wonder's not getting many wonder goals like he used to get from out what out far. Oh gonna counter us now. Well I'm Borgia. Suddenly the tables have turned. But the keeper picks up. I feel like this is another highlight going nowhere. Give Brakanza another go. Vito, I knew he'd lay it off to Carlos, and it's in. Fair play, good little rocket down the bottom corner there. Probably too late to do anything with it now, though. The only way I'd have to worry is if they get another goal now, which uh, I may have spoke too soon because there's another highlight. Unless we can just counteract it with a goal of our own. Carlos on the ball at the moment, the goal scorer. Leandrino.
Rostovsky pings one upfield and it's going to go almost to Diaby, almost. Gabriel, oh, oh, what is going on there? It's like the keeper was rooted. Great, like, sort of, well, not great, but a good save first time there. Okay, now we're in danger of losing, well, not losing the game, but losing us, like, I think. Good, kind of good stop there, considering. But, yeah, he just sort of rooted and just jumped for it. Not great. Not great now. Now I'm a bit worried because we need these three points. We want to stay ahead of the pack. Five minutes stoppage time. Hang in there, hang in there. I think we've done enough. We've got to have done enough. Yeah, that's got to be it, ref. Come on, blow, blow, blow. And he's blown. Ooh, just got over the finish line there. I want to say, yeah, we, we got away with that one because we did. Turned out to be quite a lucky win. But we're top of the league as it stands after that. Do have the Allianz Cup, which I probably won't bother with. We'll go straight into the uh, group stage. But what I'll do is we'll get into the group stage game. And I'll probably... I probably won't show Braga. I'll probably come back for Porto. Because we want to see every time we play them, if we get closer to beating them and stuff. So, show if we improve improving. But then after that, we'll obviously go through the season and get a bigger chunk going. I actually like having it this detail. Just let me know. Like, if you want it every other game, just miss a couple and then come back. We'll see. But yes, it stands. We are a game, obviously, ahead of a few teams. Braga and Porto, and he's got, what? Ten goal difference in one game. Okay. Holy shiz. Wow. <laughs> Fair enough. <clears throat> yeah. Hope you like this episode, guys. Hit the like button. If you can, if you liked it, subscribe if you're new and I'll see you next time. See you later.